Oh my goodness. Okay, so PC parts are kind of all over the place. We didn't get to chase too many of them, but cable card tuners are out in force if you want to actually build your own home yes. theater PC integrated in your cable service and digital, basically record the digital video from your cable provider. Silicon Dust, mm -hmm. we're going to talk about that in a month or two. They're basically doing the home run. It is a Basically, you connect this tuner to your Ethernet, and then your your various devices in your house can connect to it over the network. Oh, nice. And Seton Digital, who announced last year, has running demos of uh, basically four and eight cable card tuners on display here at the show. So that was actually pretty cable cool. Card. I loved the stuff at the Microsoft keynote, actually, where they were yeah. talking about how you can d watch uh, four HD streams and, and record them at the same time with their new uh, Media Center stuff. Yeah, well, you, you I was just, like... I don't even think I know that many shows on at the same time that I would want to watch, but I just like the idea that I could theoretically do that. You could. It takes yeah. a lot of money to do that. Ben Draba basically yeah. walked through like the cost of the cards and the per month charge. I um, see. I know. Uh, uh, it so, always comes back to the money, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's if you can afford it. So expensive. Until oh, the. Uh, Right. The, yeah, well, the Core i3, the Core i5, Core i7 announcements, like we told you, they hit on the 7th, so it's safe to buy a PC mm -hmm. or a notebook again, get the oh. best prices. Microsoft's got a new keyboard, the it's, Arc. It looks like it came out of a surrealist melting clock painting, <laughs> except it actually feels pretty good. It's pretty comfortable. It's like 12.2 inches wide, 6 inches deep, and it's got a 2.4 gigahertz wireless, and finally, a battery life. What are indicator. you doing? It has no it has a battery life indicator. No, it, has it has no, no number, number pad. pad. You don't like that. I you missed that. I want a number pad. All I right. use a number pad. Well, okay. How you get, how are you gonna game with your scary ergonometric keyboard? Well, I've got a the Merc cord a keyboard, so you I have, have my whole like gaming You're like side Barbie. on the on You the have left. everything. I just have this nice, nice little PC gaming setup at home. I'm very protective of it. Okay. Don't judge. I'm I'm judging because I'm mean. API <laughs> API AMD's got the ATI Mobility Radeon. HD 4000 series right. are stepping up on that. They're claiming it's twice as fast as the 3000. I want to see benchmarking numbers, but they are doing GDDDR5 memory in that, which mm -hmm. is the first for a mobile chip. And they're claiming they can do 800 stream processing units simultaneously on the 4800s, the high-end ones. NVIDIA is showing off a lot of tablets. People are calling them slates. People are calling them tablets. And the new Tegra 2 stuff, right? Yeah, the Tegra 2 is really interesting. The Tegra chipset is used to power the Zune HD. Um, for these new tablets, think like a 7 or 10-inch screen. The Tegra yeah. Chipset. They're saying it's faster than Snapdragon. They're, well, they're, they're claiming they've doubled the performance over the original Tegra, and mm -hmm. they're also saying battery life is phenomenal. They're saying they can do 16 hours of HD video or 140 hours of audio playback on a, on a single battery inside of one of these 7 inches devices. And then all their 3D stuff, too. Yeah, and so video 3D, 3D vision. 3D Blu-ray stuff. Yeah, and have, well, it's bundled with the Avatar 3D video game, and they're like, <laughs> all of the recent then video chipsets See, are that, compatible with 3D Blu-ray. That's one reason that I might invest in a 3D HDT. 3D gaming. 3D gaming. <laughs> You'll never leave your house amazing. again. Did I, I told you about how? Oh no, I don't think I told you this. So we've been looking at buying a new TV, mm -hmm. and I had the great idea that okay, if we upgrade to a new TV, we might wait now because of all this 3D stuff going on. I was thinking of taking the 42 inch and making it my monitor on my desk. Is that weird? It's not weird. Is that it just over could the be top? a little. We'll if I sit back far enough, I'm just my friend actually has yeah. like a 50 inch television as his I've computer done it. I've monitor. I used a 37 inch panel as a monitor. 50 inch. Well, he, I, I'm not like, that cool. It takes up his entire wall, basically, in his office. The problem is, you still you have only to like have... crane your neck to like look at different things in the game. When it gets That's that big, awesome. though, you want a higher resolution. Yeah, that would be. You tell you, we'll get video of you playing on your 47 inch desktop monitor. That would be so cool. <laughs> be I, just, so I can have like three games open at the same time and like decent resolution and still be able to play them all. Well, they'll be I don't like 640 by 480. My, my PC wouldn't be able to handle it. Yeah, 1920 by 1080 starts to look really small, like a really small resolution when it's yeah, on a screen that big. That's true. Uh, for, uh, cool it <laughs> Systems, Vantage DLC, this is fun. Obviously, mm -hmm. I love water cooling. I love overclocking the Core i7. It's a sealed, it's basically a bundled sealed liquid cooling for your CPU. You. Um, it's got an LCD screen built in, so you yes. can basically monitor your processor temperature at all times just by looking at it. They also have software called uh, Maestro mm -hmm. that actually shows you exactly what your fans and coolant systems are doing. So you can speed up the fans, or you can actually change the color of the LED lights inside the case. And it'll actually it's supposed nice to little touches. wirelessly communicate what you set up to it's the... It's pretty badass, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. Basically, so you can wirelessly control the lighting system on your CPU cooler. That makes me a geek. Yeah. <laughs>
Coming up next, we've got 4G, iPhone clock radios, and more. But first, let's thank our sponsor. The latest installment of BioWare's space epic Mass Effect franchise, Mass Effect 2, follows Commander Shepard and his crew into the far reaches of the galaxy. Teamed up with a crew of the most lethal warriors in the universe, a savage, a psychopath, a scientist, and more, Shepard tries to unlock the mystery behind entire human colonies disappearing. Facing seemingly insurmountable odds and a team he can't entirely trust, Shepard is humanity's last hope in the fight for the lost. You've assembled the best, but can you trust them? Mass Effect 2 available on PC and Xbox 360 January 26. Go get it. We'll take a moment to thank NBC Universal and Don Ocarino. They let us use the NBC Universal stage for the shoot, which means we didn't have to carry thousands of pounds of lights and we got to sit in the cool bench. You got to sit in Maria Bartiromo's seat. I know, I feel so. Mr. Donaghy, we want to so thank cool. you for making that possible over yeah, there. Yeah, Jack Donaghy is a big fan. Good fan. Yeah, big fan did of Texas. Did you go to lunch with him again? Yeah, I he did. He didn't invite mm -hmm. me. I'm sorry. Hey, they'd also like to remind you, or they'd like us to remind you, NBC Universal has some pretty serious HD coming. We're talking mm -hmm. 2010 Winter Olympics. Get the entire schedule coming up at NBC Olympics. Com. I can't wait to watch I the know. Olympics again.